Virgo, welcome to your 2018 tarot forecast. It's Rena here. I have recorded a love reading uh, in a similar vein for you for 2018 that is available on Vimeo. I will provide the link below. These are two different spreads, the love and the general, and I created both of them, and both of them are different than, than the ones I usually do on YouTube, so there's some variety there. And um, some of these cards are going to be out of frame, so I will, um, when I get to them, I will let you know, and also... I will um, explain the positions, so which is always helpful. I'm so happy now that I've been doing a few of them. I've have some of them under my belt. I know all the positions. I was really referring to my notes for those first half of the readings, and now I'm an old pro. Yeah. Of course, if I took away that stuff at the top of the <laughs> my crystals and all that jazz, but the thing is, then it's hard to reach over the way I've got my camera set up. So there's a method to my madness. Okay. Now I'm going to scoop up these cards because they're in the way of laying down some other ones. Of course, I could put them on the side, I guess, but there's more space over here. Maybe shuffle them. Okay, and then the advice. I think it's one card for advice. Two for outcome. Okay. Huh. Okay, let's look at this. Seems like it's lopsided, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so the top row are influences coming from 2017. Some of these influences may be ones that have been resolved and they just were very impactful in 2017 and some of them are still loose ends. The Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety. So again, uh, we also should mention that these are general readings. So. I try to keep tarot readings as broad as possible to allow for as much interpretation as possible. Um, looking with the, you know, pairing it with this one, the Wheel of Fortune, it can be that you may be anxious because you're actually having good things happen to you, Virgo. This is so common, it's not even funny. I think um, it's fair to say that the same thing happened to me. Where I started having good things happen, and it was like too like unusual, too different than my normal experiences. And it's almost like I pushed it away. And it was really a very telling um, situation because it made me aware of this whole idea of the law of attraction and how people sabotage themselves when they cannot accept good coming into their life. So uh, whether this is finding that perfect job, job and then still being anxious that it's going to be taken away from you, that could be it too. That, you know, th that's what happens too, that People are waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, I'm, I'm having too much good stuff happen to me. Something's got to give and something's going to like really, um, you know, something really bad's going to happen because I'm having all this good stuff happen. 
And you could say that's a twisted way of, of looking at life, but I can totally understand it because I've been there. And the other thing about the Wheel of Fortune is that it's, it's talking about alignment, okay? And with Virgo people, you had the North Node in your sign uh, before 20, well, maybe the first few months of 2017 and then going back to 2016. So something came about, I'm sure, for a lot of you that a lot, that maybe you kind of fell into your life's work, your life's path. And you don't have to be in your 20s for this to have happened. As a matter of fact, it could be something that happened when you were in your 40s or beyond even. And maybe all along you were kind of lost and you have found what you came here to do. It's kind of like you might have gotten off track somehow. And if that's the case, it's like it's so exciting to kind of like align yourself and to feel that sense of coming home. But at the same time, it's anxiety producing because there may be things around you that uh, don't work anymore because we have here a card connected to leaving something, maybe leaving a relationship. And these things tend to happen at the same time. A person wakes up from the dream that they've been living and they realize that, and sometimes the wake-up call is a health crisis that sidelines a person, and they have, I was going to say too much time, but I'll just say plenty of time to think about all of the things that have plagued them and have led them down the wrong path, and they resolve that they're going to do things differently. And they may realize, in some cases, that a person in their life has been a lot of the source of their unhappiness. Usually, if you are a mature adult, this will be a spouse. If you're younger, uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say that this could be any age. It could be your, a parent, even. Um, the, the idea of, like, the narcissist who has maybe terrorized a family or and and including like a spouse who who has kept everybody on pins and needles and you finally get the courage to leave such a person this is all past influence though so whatever has happened you would already uh I'm I'm recording this in December of 2018 <laughs> I, I time travel, 2017. And this could also be a card of just simply, uh, like if you have a, a job, a career, that you may be very good at, you may be accomplished, but you just, your heart isn't in it. You know, the Eight of, the eight of Cups is about, it's almost like a, a spiritual quest, but definitely leaving that which no longer serves you, but also doesn't, tug at your heartstrings. And then we have, along with that, the hangman. And this is a card of surrender. So with the card of anxiety, um, you know, it's bookending that card. And really, um, it's possible that the anxiety was earlier in the year, and, and this, is, this might even be like kind of a progression of exactly how things played out in 2017 for you, that you were, were um, anxious about something, and, and then maybe you did feel that sense of success and alignment, and that caused you to have the means and the courage to leave a situation that simply wasn't serving you, and now uh, you have surrendered to the situation or you're in a state of limbo. In other words, you've made your moves, but it's still kind of like open for more things to come in. So let's look at 2018. 
and these are themes, okay? I, I, as I said, I want to keep it broad. One of them is the Queen of Cups. If this is somebody else, this is an older woman, she is intuitive, she could be um, an actual counselor, or uh, I was going to say, I don't know why I said counselor, because I really meant to say uh, psychic, because there's a lot of psychic energy with this card. She could be a, a, like a mother or a mother figure that is caught, that is featuring in your life in some way. Perhaps this is you becoming a mother. Now, with those cards of like walking away from a situation, that seems to me, um, it could, now that's an interesting thing. Perhaps you're with your partner, but you walked away from a successful career because it was very anxious so that you could become a mother and that you were willing to sacrifice that. This is a card of sacrifice, okay? And um, that, that, and yeah, because <laughs> the card right next to it definitely points to that scenario. The happy home. So some of you, now if you are a woman, and this, I tend to read the court cards by gender. If you are a woman who is, you know, either, maybe this hasn't happened to you yet, but it resonates for a theme in your life right now. If you're, even if you're uh, listening in 2017, Understand that that the card of the happy home, the four of wands, and it could be a new home too, by the way. Maybe it's your first home that you and your partner are purchasing and you are pregnant and you're going to have a, a child and you don't want to not raise that child. You want to raise that child. Now, the reason that this is even an issue is because you may have a successful career and it might be wrenching but sometimes success, successful careers also can be very stressful situations. So it's not that the person is stressed out because they have a low paying job. It could be that it's a high paying job with a lot of responsibility and, and therefore a lot of stress. And, but it makes it difficult to leave because of that, you know, it's so alluring, the fact that it's very... Um, what do you call it? Um, it? It pays well and it has a high status and you feel like you have a sense of identity and maybe you're afraid that if you're at home you're going to feel like you're just a nobody. And I don't think so nowadays. I think that there is a lot of esteem uh, held for stay-at-home parents from what I have seen, there seems to be quite a trend in that direction. And um, I'm just thinking how it, how it was maybe 10 years ago and before that when it wasn't as highly valued, it seemed like. It seemed like it was act, some old fashioned notion. But, the, but if we look at it beyond that, uh, we can see that the Queen of Cups is somebody who is incredibly intuitive. And that can lead you maybe to find the perfect house. That's one of the things, too, that is very important. If you're somebody who wants to buy a house in 2018, you may, for whatever reason, have a lot of psychic uh, stuff going on. Especially, I was thinking, your 12th house is Leo. And there is a lunar eclipse on January 31st in Leo. And so that could, the, the 12th house is a house of dreams and spiritual stuff. So that could be like you having this vision of um, the perfect house and just acting upon that dream and, and snaring it. Okay, snagging it. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to do this. It doesn't matter. Well, I'll do this one next. The Page of Pentacles could indicate that there is some important communication con connected to a job, a uh, money. You may even get some money. 
Um, from what I understand, the page is not necessarily this big uh, windfall, but it might be enough to jumpstart something that you've been wanting to do. It can also indicate the student, so it's possible that you will be in 2018 taking up some kind of uh, course of study that may enhance your uh, ability to uh, land a certain type of job or simply because you are trying to finish up a degree maybe you left university and you want to go back and finish off and it could indicate a new relationship with a fellow earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn maybe even a new uh, maybe you create your own business because with the Four of Wands, it's about home. Maybe you start something from home. Seven of Wands for a Virgo person. Very important. Because for some reason, you are um, feeling like you have the right to defend yourself. And you may even feel that it's your job to defend yourself for some reason. And uh, so this can point to being very assertive, standing your ground. Perhaps there is a fire sign person who has um, come into your life and you are being very direct with this person and not giving them any kind of... Um, not giving him any leeway. I was going to say, too, that the Queen of Cups could be a mother-in-law. That you have to uh, defend yourself against. Uh, because this could be a card of marriage, and the mother-in-law comes with it. And maybe they are taking care, she's taking care of your child. And you, because uh, pages can be children. So maybe um, you have to grow a backbone with a mother-in-law and that this is an adjustment that needs to be made. So we're going to talk about um, influences from the outside coming in. The Nine of Cups for you in 2018. Wish fulfillment. A lot of lucky energy, you know, coming from that Wheel of Fortune. This is just more of the same. Uh, this could be some kind of indulgence. I did get the temperance as the outcome. So if there's any kind of substance abuse going on, a person who is in your life, I was getting like a Pisces person with that Knight of Cups, although I don't know if it's connected to possibly cancer. But um, there is... There seems to be that you're on a lucky streak. And so with the Nine of Cups, you may feel like you're just, you've landed in Oz and you just are taking in all of this good stuff. It's like magic for you. And then we have another card that I would say, oh, wow, you actually have some wonderful cards of influence. The Empress card is connected to motherhood. So if... I was right about that Queen of Cups and the, and the Four of Wands, that this is uh, you giving birth or, you know, being pregnant. You may surround yourself with other mothers that are in a network. Maybe they are natural mothers. I always associate Virgo with herbalism, vegetarianism, alternative medicine, health. And you may surround yourself with Earth Mother energy that teach you how to do things the natural way, breastfeeding and everything like that. Um, this is a sign, uh, this is a card associated with Taurus and Libra, re with the Venus connection that rules both of those signs. And so it could be something along those lines, a person of either. But this is a card of creativity in general. So if you are an artist, um, th by the way, this could be like you... Uh, the Queen of Cups could be you as an artist. Uh, and maybe you get some kind of offer for your work, and that's a breakthrough for you. 
but you may be surrounding yourself with artists and that is a good influence because we also have here the magician card which is really a self kind of um, empowered person so when somebody is in this you know they're hobnobbing with people that with like-minded people it stands to reason that you may somebody may say hey you know what we should join up together and form this this uh, group this collective maybe some art collaboration maybe you are a playwright and um, there's some kind of group that you are connected to or, or a comedy troupe something along those lines and then we have the the death card which is connected to Scorpio and I was thinking even with the uh, Knight of Cups this could be a Scorpio person who is your partner but in terms of what we classically think of the death card we think of some kind of ending and how does that pertain to your life maybe there's going to be something that closes and that is good because we have like fresh stuff coming in <clears throat> maybe there's that final thing that you needed to do now I actually associate this with the eight of cups this death card so again, that could be a similar thing that's going on. 